Okay, so in this video, we're going to have a look at Breeze FX's new head extraction feature. Now, I think this is a really fun idea, uh, and you can do lots of interesting things with it um, and add a lot of comedic value to, to output, but uh, probably also some good applications for uh, things like Halloween as well. Um, I'm going to run through a couple ideas um, of how you could use it today and show you how it all works. So let's jump in. So I'm going to head over to Breeze FX and create a new config. And we'll just give it a name. There's basically no options for this. So we'll just name it. And if you need a token, you can give it otherwise, give it one. Otherwise, just use the, uh, the defaults fine. Um, so we'll just select uh, head extraction from the drop-down list. And we'll go ahead and create that one. Uh, so once it's created, we'll grab our URL and we'll copy it into DSLR Remote Pro. Now, of course, this also will work in the iPad app, but we'll just show it in DSLR Pro today. So we'll come into our photo booth settings, output settings, post-process photos settings, uh, web-based, and then paste the URL in here. Now, one thing just to watch is that the head extraction uh, uh, feature needs an image no larger than 2,000 pixels. You can shoot any size image you want, uh, but when we send it to FX, we need to do it as 2,000 pixels or less. Um, so that's probably just a safe bet to set it 2,000. So we can go ahead and, um, and of course, put your password in. I'll go ahead and OK that one. Uh, we'll come back into our print layout. Um, and we'll just delete that background for the moment. We'll come back to that fun one. So we've just got a blank canvas here. Um, and what we'll do is right click and add photo one to the um, print layout. Now, the key thing to remember here is that Breeze FX will return the head as a square cropped image. So it's going to contain the head within a square shape. So therefore, on your print layout, you also need to have this set as a square. So we'll go ahead and uh, make it a square. And now we can place it on our canvas. I'm going to go ahead and import a uh, new background, uh, one that I made earlier. So we've got this sort of bodybuilder guy. And the idea is to replace his head with uh, my head in sort of a fun, uh, fun way. So because we know that the head is contained within this square and the head is always centered within the square, that if we roughly line it up over his, the middle of his face, we should get a pretty good match. So we might scale that down just a bit, but we are going for sort of an oversized uh, look here to give me quite a big head on this um, dream body of mine. So we'll give this a go and we'll just okay that and we'll run a session and see what we get. Now, something to remember also is that it doesn't matter where your head is in the frame here. We can have it over here, over here, down the bottom. Uh, FX will locate the head and still return it as that square cropped image that's always perfectly uh, centered. Uh, if you have multiple guests in the photo, it'll just use the dominant face that it finds. So this is uh, an experience designed for just a single guest. Let's go ahead and capture a photo. So processing is fairly quick. It's around five, you know, five to ten seconds tops, um, and we'll get a result. Okay, so there we go. I've got my head, my big beautiful head on uh, the body of my dreams right there. So I think that's a really sort of fun, uh, fun idea, um, and I think there's a lot you could do with that sort of concept of these sort of oversized comedic sort of heads. Uh, but I think, as I said, maybe there's some good application for Halloween type events as well. Uh, we could do something a little spookier and maybe have a head on someone's hand like that. But let's have a look at what else, uh, something else you could do with this. Uh, we'll just, okay, this one. And we'll hop out. And we're going to go back to our print layout. And I'm going to import uh, another template that it already made. Okay, so this one here is another fun idea. Um, it's basically going to be a grid. So I've got a grid of tacos, and then I'm going to insert my face between uh, every taco. Now, this could be really um, something you might think about doing for like a, a holiday card um, or custom wrapping paper, or it could be a fun idea for a T-shirt print or something like that. Um, so what we're going to do is just capture a photo, then repeat, that, uh, repeat the head that's been extracted um, across this image a whole bunch of times. So um, also I'm going to make these uh, templates available so you can download uh, this particular template and just import it. Um, same for the bodybuilder one and I'll put that into the uh, description of the video. So we'll OK that and we'll just run another session through. And see what we get. Okay. 
Okay, so there we go. Um, I think this is really cool. So it's got my face repeated uh, nicely between the tacos. And of course you could mix it up and you could take advantage of Breeze's really powerful survey and token functions and give people a choice of uh, image instead of the taco. Um, but I think this is such a, such a fun idea. Um, let's run it through again. And I'm just gonna try a slightly different uh, variation of the head. And I'll also show you how I can have my head in anywhere in the frame and it's still gonna work the same. So I'm gonna put my head over here. So I had my head um, off to the side, um, but it's still going to find, locate the head and center it up nicely um, in the end result. There we go. So I think that's sort of, you know, uh, lots of fun interactive things uh, that, that you could do with output like this. Um, and I'm sure you guys can come up with a million more ideas as well, but um, have a play with it. I think it's a really fun one. It's so simple to get up and running with as well. Um, but yeah, any questions, just jump into the comments and let me know.